How have you been? Great, Marcus. How have you been? I've been excellent. Excellent. Can't complain. Uh, what new projects are taking place in the town of Richwood? Well, Marcus, we're excited about our ribbon cutting for the new postal service at FedEx prior to now. And it's going to be a convenience for our city, uh, not only for just the city of Richwood, but the whole South Side. And so this is, event is tremendous for us. And we are excited. We are elated about it. I'm sure the citizens are happy about that. Yes, uh, it's just the first step of convenience for us. And we want to establish a retail business on the south side. What work has been done in the town for the month of March? Well, right now we're working on the manhole restoration project. Of course, we wanted to do some things to keep the town alive, to keep it moving. Uh, we're painting the, the sewage uh, taps throughout the town, our manholes, so that they can be observed by uh, uh, the pedestrians, not only pedestrians, but those who are driving up and down our streets. Can you give us a recap of last night's town hall meeting? Yes, uh, last night we were uh, debating a, a sign ordinance for the town of Richwood, and that is to stop all of the obstructions of signs in areas where those who are driving could be their vision won't be obscured, and not only that, but uh, some other things as far as signs being nailed on trees, on power poles, uh, so that the Power uh, Energy Corporation could, could be able to access the, the poles and if they had the climate and all those sorts of things. So last night's meeting was a good meeting. It was an excellent. Can businesses advertise on the town's website? Yes, we, we encourage all businesses to locate on our website. Uh, I think that everybody's excited about the city of Richwood, a town that's on the move, and we're excited about it, and we're going to continue to move forward. When is the date to vote for the vacant alderperson position? Actually, the election is uh, April the 2nd. And early voting begins this Saturday, March the 19th through the 26th. So we definitely want to encourage people to go we out. We want everybody to go out and vote and vote in large numbers. What's the status of the multipurpose building? Well, at this particular time, we spoke with our engineer. We have some things that we have to come in compliance with with our fire marshal, being that of our alarm system and also our lift for the handicap to the stage and also the grease trap and also uh, the, the ventilation for the kitchen. I've heard a lot of buzz around that. I know people are, are anxious to get inside and see what it's about. I, I know that they are and I really want them to go in and I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, but I, I've learned to be patient. Uh, God has his own time set for all things to occur. So I've learned that at one time I wasn't as patient as I am now, but God is teaching me patience along this line. Is the town of Richwood focused on economic development? Without a shadow of doubt. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm reaching out to retail businesses. I hope that retail business will locate conveniently along the 165 South Corridor. I'm excited about it. I would like for a pizza, uh, pizzeria to locate on the south side. I would like also uh, uh, dry cleaners. I'm reaching out to them and all sorts of uh, movie, movie uh, theaters or various things of that nature. We are reaching to everyone to look at conveniently locating their businesses along the 165 corridor. Uh, the, the, the traffic counts are extremely high. And not only that, but with the gas fuel costs going up constantly, we need convenience. Do you have an accurate number on the traffic count of daily cars on that 165 corridor? Yes, we do. We have approximately about 27,000 conveniently going up and down that 165 corridor. So that's a lot of potential business. That's a lot of potential business. And they are, ex they are uh, exiting all the way down all the way to more terminal. So we need to make sure that we can tap into it. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not going to build a city from the industry from the beginning, but I'm working my, my butt off to try to at least try to get the retail business. And 
we can get the, if we can corner the retail market, we can move our city forward with sales tax because Richwood is a small town. But we want to develop that, and we believe we are going to do it. What new projects are you currently working on? Well, right now I'm, I'm constantly, uh, I'm still with the multi purpose. I want to complete that. I'm also working on a, a uh, site selection for the town of Ritual. Uh, right now, Energy is partnering with us to create one of the fifth, and I say one of the fifth, only five of them are in the state of Louisiana, of global site selections by Energy. And we are going to be one of those. We will hopefully be the fifth one. And when we do, do that, that puts us in line for the market globally for industry to locate in our area. That means jobs. That's going to be huge for the town of It would be exciting when that happens. And we're going to continue to do that. We're going to create jobs on the south side. I just hope that our people can tap into it with the necessary soft skills that they need in order to be able to get the jobs. Well, that's all we have for this month. Thank you, man. Thank you.